Historically, um, uh, we are taught that kidney cancer or renal cell carcinoma is radio resistant, and this is certainly what I've learned when I was going through my training. The reality is that kidney cancer is actually quite radio sensitive, it's just you have to deliver a high radiation dose. And so techniques like SBRT or stereotactic body radiation deliver the radiation in few fractions but at higher doses, and then actually kidney cancer actually responds very well to those type of treatments. There are several indications uh, that I think are important to mention of how uh, SBRT is used in kidney cancer. Um, for patients with a primary tumor, I mean, you know, the, the clinical dilemma that we as urologists face is large amount of small renal masses. We don't know what to do with them. Most of them are indolent, don't need to be treated, but there are some um, that are actually rapidly growing. And so the idea for SBRT in this setting is to convert somebody with, from a growing renal mass to, to real mass that stabilizes and doesn't grow and can be observed safely. Especially when you factor in, you know, the, uh, the older patient population in which these things happen. We want to try to avoid any invasive procedure. And SBRT um, uh, technology is, is attractive because the radiation can be delivered in few fractions, so there's not a big time commitment on the patient's part. Um, but it's also safe. Um, it's not invasive. There's no need for anesthesia. It's an outpatient type treatment that you come in, you know, three, four times and you go home. So it's very attractive, and uh, I think uh, we will see more and more of this utilized in the space of uh, treat treatment of the primary tumor. Um, for patients with locally advanced disease, and, uh, and for example, patients, you know, kidney cancer is unusual where the, because it forms, uh, you know, tumor thrombi that they can grow all the way towards the heart. And where we use um, this in an, invest in an investigational setting is we actually radiate the thrombus to sterilize it. And so when we go and do the surgery, you know, there's a lot of manipulation involved and a lot of cancer cells get released into circulation. So the idea is to give radiotherapy before that to sterilize those cells and prevent them from implanting. So the, the, our clinical trial looking at that is ongoing. The preliminary data is very encouraging. There's certainly, uh, uh, it certainly seems to be safe to, to, to utilize this approach, but it also, at least preliminary data indicates that it actually may be very efficacious. And finally, in a, metast in a metastatic setting, uh, you know, the kidney cancer metastasis can be quite symptomatic. And so SBRT is a great way to palliate or, you know, relieve patients suffering and pain. Again, non-invasive, obviously, uh, and then works very well. Uh, the palliation rates and local tumor control rates of metastases are 90% plus. Um, so uh, another, another role for uh, uh, SBRT in this setting is metastatic setting is patients um, that are progressing uh, on systemic therapy, you know, so we have multiple lines of systemic therapy for kidney cancer. In, in a lot of cases, patients respond mostly, but they have few, one or two sites that are not responding and are progressing. So if we can radiate those sites, we can actually delay change of systemic therapy. And, and as, as, you know, we know, there's only so many lines of therapy that these patients can get. And so if we keep switching very, very quickly, then we run out of options. And so um, we utilize this, again, as part of the clinical protocol to delay need to change of systemic therapy. And I think it's a very attractive strategy, again, just to, to prolong patient's exposure to some of these treatments. Another role of, uh, of radiotherapy is um, basically to create a in situ vaccine. What I mean by that is, um, in some instances, the kidney cancer prevents our own immune system from infiltrating and developing uh, a response. Um, the way uh, to attack that phenomenon is, is uh, and then what the RADVAX trial brings to the table, is to radiate one of the metastatic sites, which releases a lot of antigens into the circulation. So some of the things that our immune system was not seeing and was not activated by are now released into the circulation. The second component, so that's a radiation component. The, the second component is um, uh, uh, immune therapy. So then you we combine this antigenic release, all these antigens and release into circulation, and then we combine it with really eff drugs, effective drugs that can net prime our immune system to respond to those antigens. And that's the idea behind the RADVAX trial, a combination of SBRT and immunotherapy. Um, the RADVAX, there's, RADVAX trial has fully accrued um, at UT Southwestern, uh, 25 patients, and the, the data will, will be presented at the upcoming GU ASCO meeting in 2020. Um, I, uh, unfortunately, not at liberty to discuss the results. All I can say is that the preliminary data is very encouraging. To summarize, what, what, 
what I take away from this meeting um, and from our experience with uh, um, SBRT and kidney cancer is they can be utilized and it's very effective um, for, for several uh, uh, patient-related issues. Number one, it's an excellent way to palliate pain. Um, second, it's, it's a good way to stabilize somebody's disease in a minimally invasive or non-invasive manner. Um, it's not a replacement for, you know, standard of care surgeries and systemic therapies and ablation therapies, but I think it needs to be part of our momentarium that we, we offer to our patients routinely.